Here we go, girls and boys. The Chicken Train preview of the year. This massive, massive sporting event between the girls from Lauriston and the Greenlands from Melbourne Grammar. It makes the AFL Grand Final look like synchronised swimming. Let's start with some of the big players in this match. The main man, JJ, Jeremy Jones. He built on one of the best barbecues you've ever seen. But son, take my advice. If you force people to bring along a free piece of bread, they don't have to kiss your mum. I know you'll be signing autographs after the chicken trains made you very famous, but calm down, buddy. First, a netball match. Keeping in mind there could be some late changes to the starting lineups, depending on some of the weekend activities. Stay out of Tramp and Cloud 9, or whatever. Tommy Scott, he's practically married to lorry girl Phobesy Roberts. Questionable loyalty. Did he side with the boys or Phobes? Be smart, son. Life's about good decisions when it comes to marriage. Chris Gubbs, looking to redeem himself through his less than adequate skills and stamina. Now, my sources are yet to confirm whether that lack of skill and stamina relates to Kimmy Girl Sternfeld. We'll find out. Will Hayes, well, he's right up there with the Chicken Train APS Football of the Year. And yes, he's setting the bar high in the looks department. Bit of a trained clone, actually. But can he deliver on the netball court? My mail is he'll be tagged and tagged very, very closely. Bridget, captain of the team, she's courageous in an undertype, not to be messed with, boys. Gremlin boys, be on the lookout for Bridgie. Sarah Morton, now, here we go. If my mail's correct, there could be a very, very big gap between her and a certain somebody else on court. Let's hope this doesn't get ugly and end into a full-scale war. My spies at Gremlin Grammar tell me she won't, she doesn't fail in the pins department, nor does she fail with a little bit of gob out on the court. So watch out for Sarah. Um, Mietta, now she never misses. She's the goal, goal scorer and she's tall and she's got chicken train pins of the year. She's the goal attack. She's the girl who's got to be stopped. Jordan, now, probably my favourite, also a favourite of a few AFL stars and would be, could be stars. Apparently, she's brushing them away minute by minute. Sure, Jason Aspie might have got a ticket to the formal, but trust me, buddy, you need to work on your game. AFL names like Wellingham and Sinclair, give up, boys. You're no chance whatsoever. I know a few of my boys, Christian Jacks, North and, uh, Nathan Horvat from Kerry, Christian making his big debut for Greater Western Sydney tomorrow, and Jackie Boy Billings from Scotch and Lukey McDonald's. They all think they're a little bit of a show in there with Geordie, but please, boys, take a ticket. When Jordan is ready, she might, and I mean might, chat to you after the game. Now the water polo, Hannah. Known for her water polo finesse and appearance, a Lorison captain. Now this girl is just what it's all about. She's a Luke Hodge, let's face it, of Laurie. She could lead him over the line. Katie, originally uh, known for her Olympic standard goalie abilities in the Australian national team. She's changing her colours and she'll show off her all-round skills. Emily, this girl can do everything. Goes forward, back, everything else. Amelia, master of the centre forward, back and Amelia is rolling with the big kids in the pool against the boys. Now, Vanessa, she may lack the water polo diplomacy, diplomacy rather, but Vanessa provides endless entertainment for her fellow water polo players. Not to be missed. Get down there if you want to be entertained. Curly Twins, for the boys, well, tall, athletic, boy known for his DJing skills and gigat prints. Both known for their obsession with lorry girls. Ed Manton, son of a good friend of mine, Johnny, king of every sport. What sport can't this kid play? Archie Tune, known for his photography skills. Well, look, son, that ain't going to be much good for you out there. Um, for once, you'll actually be playing a sport, not just taking photos. Oscar Watts, king of the MLC girls, obsessed with his size. Okay, my tips. Girls, believe in yourself. These gremlins from Grammar, okay, they've had everyone bluffed all year. Yes, they can play footy. Yes, they can take photos. Yes, they can DJ a few songs. But when the siren sounds, they need to prove and they need to be able to match it with the lorry machine. We're keyed up for this match. The netball, there is no doubt this will be Hawthorne versus GWS. Lorry girls will smash the gremlins, I've got no doubt. The water polo, that'll be a bit tighter and I expect, expect a similar result. The lorry girls are going to rule in straight sets. I can see that coming. Remember... Be kind to your mum, be kind to the train driver, and always remember, two, two.